to show you how to root the uh, Google Nexus 7 second generation, that's the 2013 model, using a one-click application called Towel Root. Towel Root does not work well with the first generation Nexus 7. I tried it. It uh, will use the lock bootloader and give kind of a limited root operation but it doesn't install busybox or uh, super user binaries on the second generation Nexus 7 it does a complete um, rooting still while the bootloader is locked and it, it'll do a one click root with uh, no complications no problems so we're going to uh, show you how this particular Nexus 7 is already stock. I mean, it's it's got a lock bootloader, and I'm going to turn it on now. When when the bootloader is locked, it'll boot up with the word Google, but it will not have an icon picture of the lock on the bottom. You can see the word Google. Normally, when the bootloader is unlocked and ready for rooting, you'll see a padlock underneath that word Google. So this is doing a normal boot, and we'll come back to it in a minute while it goes on its normal routine. To do a regular boot, we would use this screen that's shown here let me zoom in on it a little you can see it's a pretty complicated menu we would normally to do a route we would lock or unlock the bootloader number three there we would choose the rooting command number four we would um, do a number of different steps to root the machine we'd have to choose the right device and everything instead what we're going to do is a one click root I will put up this Nexus 7 here we will just show the screen right up where that menu was. Let me see if I can uh, put this up here. Let's see if we can just rest it here. Go to the app drawer. Zoom the screen in. Okay, we have towel root, which is right here. We're not going to do that yet. First, we're going to run the uh, root checker program to show you that the device is not rooted. To verify, we'll click the verify root button up here, and it says, "Sorry, this device does not have proper boot access." Root access. So it's not rooted at the moment. You saw when we booted it did not have the uh, lock icon, so the bootloader is still locked. Normally to root, as I said, you'd have to unlock the bootloader. We can also try running titanium, titanium backup right here. It will not run because it needs root. And it says error, could not acquire root privileges. So we're definitely not rooted. Now we're going to run towel root. One button click. It says make it rain right here. We click the button. In 15 seconds the phone will boot and we will have root it says. We will see. Okay, you can see it's still got a lock bootloader. The lock icon does not show up down here. We will unlock it later because to transfer files 
using fast boot and so on, we have to unlock the bootloader. But this will root the device even with a locked bootloader and without all the complicated menu options. Okay, we are now rebooted. Let's see if we have root. Go to the tray. We'll pull up root checker. And we will push the verify root button. The device has root access, it says. It's in green lettering this time instead of red. Let's try titanium backup. And it runs perfectly. It gives us a welcome screen. It gives us the normal menu options. Um, that works. Let's see if we have any other application. We have to allow unknown resources in settings, but titanium backup would work. Let's see if we got another app that requires root. I should have checked this earlier. Um, yeah, add away or add blocker. Add away runs. You notice it didn't ask for super user privileges, but uh, it is running without any error messages. And I believe that when we check here, I uh, don't see it, but it, I thought it installed super user binaries. Anyway, um, that seems to run. And we have a program called uh, Unlock Bootloader somewhere here. Here it is. Boot. We can unlock the bootloader with the second button here. Status will now be unlocked. Let us reboot the device. And we will see. Normally when you lock or unlock the bootloader, you lose all your data. Let's power it off. The device will shut down. And then we will reboot and see if the padlock icon comes on. Okay, it's shut off. Here comes the power on button. And down at the bottom, let me lift this up, you can see the padlock icon. So now the bootloader is unlocked. And when it boots up, we will see if it uh, still maintains root. My PC screen just went off. Okay, let us see if we still have root. Here's the root checker, verify root, and we still have root access. So that was one step unlocking uh, of the root with uh, towel root. Works pretty well.